I love Fast X. Just kidding. I hate this movie. As a matter of fact, I hate the entire franchise. Well, I can't really say that. I've only seen Fast and Furious 6 and 7. And the opening scene of Too Fast and Too Furious. And I gotta be honest, I thought that was gonna be the direction for the entire series. But no, they went straight to dumb, goofy action. And these scenes convinced me that Don is a literal superhuman. After that final fight scene in Fast 7 where he's all like, the thing about street fights is that the street always wins. And then he stomps and just destroys the whole parking lot. Just made me laugh and I was like, no, I'm not watching any more of these movies, man. They, it wasn't even a street. It was a parking structure. So I'm like, screw this. How about I go back to 2005 with Tom and Jerry, the fast and the f <laughs> simpler times we lived in. And the plot is pretty simple and straightforward, unlike The Fast and Furious, where Tom and Jerry get evicted, so then they gotta construct vehicles in a junkyard with a box of scraps, and enter the fabulous super race, where they race around the globe through the chilling waters of Antarctica to the treacherous jungles of Borneo. Their rivals consist of this popular guy, I suppose, named Steve Dirkley, who is just a Chad through and through, and my favorite character, Gorton. Uh, I am Gorthon, Destroyer of Light. <laughs> uh, I am a little nervous. I've never been on TV before. At first glance, he seems like a menacing character, but deep down inside, he's just a nice guy, just owning a flower shop and racing out of the goodness of his heart. And yeah, this design rules, something my friend would really love. And yeah, one thing this movie has that Fast and Furious doesn't is that these characters die one by one and they stay dead for the rest of the movie. Well, except for my favorite character, Gorton, but the way he got eliminated was pretty sad and pathetic. So yeah, go watch this movie. It is the movie of the year.